All right, we're back. We are still in the, well, still, we're on like page two. We're still on page two of uh, notes 14 of Calc AB. We're using uh, rectangle and trapezoidal sums to approximate definite integrals. Rectangle sums are generally called Riemann sums. Uh, and that's after a mathematician who I guess was probably involved in their, I don't know, they seem so basic that it's hard to believe that a high powered mathematician was involved in this, but like, I don't know. It's also really hard to believe that like Newton didn't have this or Leibniz or I don't know. They're named after Riemann. So look it up. Uh, learn some history that apparently I didn't learn. Uh, and, uh, you know, you'll be a better person for it. So let's see if we can do this. Also, last time I was totally defeated by trying to draw rectangles. And that was a terrible experience. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Suppose a car is moving with increasing speed, speed, the absolute value of velocity, according to the following table. Uh, all right, times in seconds, speed is in feet per second, whatever that means. Approximate the distance traveled in the first 10 seconds three different ways and identify your methods. Okay, so I'm going to not draw it this time. We're going to try this and see how it works. Like, I know it's going to work for me. Hopefully, you kind of understand what's happening um, as we go. Actually, I should probably draw it. Ugh. All right. But it doesn't need to be great, right? So let's let's focus in on not being great. Um, okay, so 10. So let's say like, I don't know, 8, 4, 2, 6, 10. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. And then what are we even doing here? I don't know. Go by go by like tens, I guess. Uh there, there. Boom, 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 boom. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so 10, it's going to be 60. At 8, it's 54, which is a stupid number for the scale that I have chosen. Uh, here, it's going to have to be like a little under that. Uh, 4 is at exactly 40, which again is like super hard to get. Uh, 36, see like that, no, this is definitely not right above. So that's gonna, that's gonna be a problem if I try to make rectangles, but I'm gonna try to avoid that pitfall, which uh, was really, really not my favorite thing. And zero 30, okay. And I think I'm gonna need three of these because I gotta do three different things. So let's duplicate and then duplicate again. Okay, first up, I'm gonna do a left sum. So left sum. And I'm just going to draw it the way I usually draw it because I'm not getting involved in that nonsense. There, there. So you're always using the left end point for the height. Left end point for the height. So we get this. So we're going to say the integral from 0 to 10 of the absolute value of v of t, because that speed is approximately. All right, so the first one is, so now all of them have um, 2 as kind of their base, every rectangle. I gotta move this over so I can fit this. So I'm just gonna factor that out and say like the first one, this, this rectangle is two by 30. So two and then I'll do 30 plus, the next rectangle is two by 36. So 36 plus the next one has a height of 40, then a height of 54, then a height of six, nope, of, uh, did I do them all? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. What is going on? Oh, I skipped 48. It's not, you gotta be calm when you do these things. I like to think that that comes through in my videos. All right, I'm not gonna work that out. That's our approximation. It's fine. Oh, I should, uh, calculator. I'll use a calculator in a second. All right, I'm gonna do a right sum, which, which will be, so this, because this function is increasing, right? Increasing speed. That means that the curve is like above this. So this is actually a lower sum, right? We underestimated. And now we're gonna do the right. So it's gonna look like this, like this. This is better than drawing correct rectangles by like miles. Oh, that felt good. So this is right, or pite. This is right. And then because it's increasing, on each interval, the right endpoint is the highest it'll ever be. So your rectangle is always 
bigger than the curve would indicate. So this is going to be an, an over overestimate. Maybe this should have said lower or underestimate. Um, okay, so now we want to say the integral from 0 to 10, the absolute value of v of t dt, because its speed is approximately. They're all 2. And then we just need our numbers, right? So you don't use the 30, right? Because that's the left end point. And then you use all of them. So you use 36, 40, 48, blah, blah, blah. So we'll go 36 plus 40 plus 48 plus 54 plus 60. We'll use a calculator on that. All right, and then the third method I'm gonna use is trapezoids. Trapezoids, we don't know if it's an over or underestimate because we don't really know what the curve looks like. We just know that it's increasing. Is it increasing concave up? Is it increasing concave down? If you draw some trapezoids, like here, if I draw a trapezoid, it'll be under. But if I had uh, here and I draw a trapezoid, it's an overestimate. So since we don't know concavity, we don't know if we get an over or underestimate, we're just using trapezoids. And so those are kind of the easiest to draw. I mean, in this case, it's sort of, it's like almost linear. So there are your trapezoids. All right, so the integral from zero to 10 of the absolute value of v of t dt is approximately, all right. I'm gonna sort of generalize here because they all have a height of two, 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 two. I'm gonna say it's one half the height and then for each trapezoid, I'm going to find the sum. So I'm going to do 30 plus 36, and then 36 plus 40, and then 40 plus 48, and then 48 plus 54, and then 54 plus 60. So what I'm really doing is 30 plus 36, and then 36 plus 40, and then that, ah, go away, 40 plus 48, and then 48 plus 54, and then 54 plus 60. So I'm adding up the bases, but I'm going to like add them up. So the first one is 66, and then the next is 76. This isn't going to fit. I'm running out of space. No. 76. This has been a trial, man. Um, and then 488. I mean, you have the notes, right? You don't really need to see the table, hopefully. I don't know. Uh, 9102. I think. And then finally, 114. 114. Okay. Whew. All right. So now, what do we want to do? I want to get these as, I'm going to use a calculator to just like knock these out, hopefully quickly. We shall see. Um, so the first one is my left. So it's 230 plus 36 plus 40 plus 48. Plus, remember on the AP exam, you don't need to simplify these, which is kind of weird. So this one I get 416, and that's in feet. All right, let's do the next one. So the next one, what I can do, take this, knock out the 30, because that was a left endpoint, and add in the 60, which is like the final right endpoint. So I get 476 feet. And then for the last one, it's one half times two, and then 66 plus 76 plus 88 plus 102 plus 114. Okay, 446. So equals 446 feet. Okay, so I just want to look at one thing. I want to do uh, this plus this, and then divide by two. And you notice, maybe you notice, the, the trapezoidal sum is actually the average of the left sum and right sum. That is a fact. That is always going to happen. Let's go back to the notes. Um, so I actually use that sometimes. Like if I've already found the left and the right and someone says, what's the trapezoid? Just add them together and divide by two. If you found the trapezoid and the left, you can use that to find the right. If you found the trapezoid and the right, you can use it to find the left. Um, so it's a thing that you end up doing. It's a very cool connection. And the thing that I always find the strangest about it, it's like midpoint is the worst. Now, why didn't I do a midpoint on this? Like to go from zero to four, the midpoint is two, so we're good. And then to go from uh, four to eight, the midpoint is six, so we're good. 
but then there you can't go from eight to ten um, if you went like six to ten and then like zero to six you would need three it's like midpoints are just harder to use it turns out not only they're like the odd man out no matter what you're doing right you get your left sum your right sum trapezoid is just the average of those the midpoint isn't even the average of the left and the right like it feels like it should be but it's definitely not trapezoid is big connection there um and then we know that this could be uh or represents the total accumulated signed area so if we're above or below uh you'll get uh you know positives and negatives it can happen uh and then this i think is just a review if v of t is greater than or equal to zero on the interval from a to b then uh, the integral of V of t represents the distance traveled and the displacement. So you get both if V of t is greater than or equal to zero. Otherwise, the definite integral just gives displacement, right? So the integral of V of t dt is displacement. Coincidentally, if V of t is greater than or equal to zero all the time, it's also distance traveled. If it's not uh, greater than or equal to zero, you're just getting displacement. If you want distance traveled, you should always be doing the absolute value of V of t because you'd be doing speed. You always want to integrate speed. All right. Um, so that's like a bunch of examples. And uh, I think the rectangles went better this time. And I will see you in the next video.